The Alabama Farmers Federation and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative proudly present Simply Southern with your hosts, Jim Allen and Mary John. Hello and thanks for joining us for Simply Southern. I'm Mary John. And I'm Jim Allen. Sidney Phelps of Bonnie Plants joins us again on today's show. He's got answers to more gardening questions submitted by our viewers. F. Scott and Zelda Fitzgerald defined an era, one that began with their chance meeting in a southern city. Today, that city is home to a museum that captures the spirit of these two larger-than-life personalities. It's just one of the coolest places in town. There's always something fun going on here. If you're looking to add a little spice to your life, look no farther than Fayette, Alabama, the home of Alabama sunshine. We've got a line of nine hot sauces, from mild all the way up to our ghost chili sauce, our hottest one that we make. But we'll begin today's show in Colbert County, where one weekend a year, a popular horse riding stop transforms into a full-blown rodeo. What sustains us? Food? Family? Faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you, with a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. The Foster family probably never hurts for company. With 3,000 acres of natural beauty to offer, their Seven Springs Lodge outside Tuscumbia is a hit with trail riders, hikers, and outdoorsmen. But every now and then, they like to offer their visitors a little something extra, just for a change of pace. And let me tell you, those Fosters know how to put on a show. One thing you're almost guaranteed to see a lot of at Seven Springs Lodge is horses. While tourists flock to this stunning corner of Colbert County for the Rattlesnake Saloon, it's the thousands of acres of prime trail riding that draw horse lovers year-round. It's just not solely horses, but 90% of it is horses. Uh, we got 3,000 acres here that they trail ride on. Every weekend you got people come out and camp, just have a good time, you know, and, and bring the families. For years, Danny has offered entertainment for visitors to the lodge, from organized rides and horse shows to concerts. One of his most popular offerings, however, has been his annual chuck wagon race in the spring. Make sure we don't get run over, look coming right here. There you go, see him right there? We're in Delta Lane. <laughs> the chuck wagon race is always fantastic. I mean, you know, it's just something that if you've never seen one, uh, you don't understand it, uh, but it is a contact sport. For those of you not familiar with chuck wagon racing, it's a lot more complicated than it looks. A team consists of a wagon driver, a cook, and an outrider. After loading a stove into the back of the wagon, the cook hurries into the wagon, firing a gun to start the race. The wagon then circles around a set of barrels and speeds around the course. A successful run occurs when the outrider can mount their horse and pass the wagon on the way to the finish line. Sounds simple, but these horses, they don't, they don't do what you want them to do most of the time. I've seen, I've seen outriders be on the back of a horse, slung across him, still trying to get the stove in. Uh, it's, a, it's a team effort for sure. This year, Danny decided to upgrade the races into a weekend-long outdoor rodeo extravaganza with his inaugural Frontier Days event. 
you know, if you eat the same thing every day, you finally get tired of it. So you need to put a piece of pie in there occasionally. So therefore, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit where I get different people and more family people than I have in previous years. With bull riding, bucking bronc, donkey pinning, mutton busting, mounted shooting, and a host of other family-friendly activities, people have come from all over the map to experience this southern rendition of the Old West. What do y'all think about Frontier Days? Oh, we think this is a blast. Oh, this is great. Have you been here before? No. No, first time in no. Alabama. Is that right? Where are you from? Northern California. I think our favorite event is watching the races, you know, and everybody, everything they put into it, you know, and uh, seeing seeing everyone, it's so, um, it's family oriented and we like that, you know. I feel like that I am giving something to the community, to our county and all this stuff. Like I said, we draw people in from everywhere and sure, you know, I'm used to this land, but I want to share it with everybody else also. They come up to me all the time and tell me it's such a good time they're having. And that makes me feel, feel really good that we've accomplished something for people to come and enjoy. If you put something on, you want it to be recognized and enjoyed. That's the whole thing about it. Spring will be rolling back around before you know it. So keep up with all the events at Seven Springs Lodge on the Foster's website, rattlesnakesaloon.net. Now, Jim, I got to tell you, the black cowboy hat, that was a good look for you. Do you think it kind of made me look like Marshall Matt Dillon off Gunsmoke? Um, sure, we can go with that. Yeah. <laughs> now, up next, we'll visit a place where you can party like Gatsby, literally. The site of memorable soirees, it's also one of Alabama's most unique Airbnbs. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. They take you where you want to go, where you need to go, and sometimes where you thought you'd never go. If we're lucky, the road of life is smooth and the curves are just part of the adventure. All for a better life. Enjoy your road. Alpha Insurance. All for a better life. Pay your bill, file a claim, and more with the Alpha to Go app. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. 